Hey. Make me a dark saber. Why? This is the way. Okay. The year is 1977. You go with your parents to the old cinema. You sit in the theater, you have your box of popcorn. Lights start to dim. And just before the credits roll, you have a feeling that cinema history is about to be made. But I wasn't there. The year is 1999. Your parents have VHS tapes that have almost been worn to being unusable. I see an ad for Star Wars The Phantom Menace, sure to be everybody's new favorite Star Wars movie, with such memorable characters as that one droid, and that other one as well, and everyone's favorite, Jar Jar Binks. History was made that day, wasn't it, George? No, not really, no. 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 But anyways, you grow to love Star Wars. You read audiobooks, you read articles, you look up lore videos, and there is on today, there is so much Star Wars media that is hard to keep up. That is why when my brother said, you should make the Darksaber, I go, what, from the Clone Wars? And he goes, no, from the Mandalorian. It's in the Mandalorian, it's in the Book of Boba Fett. So I start looking it up and I go, how have I not seen this? This thing is awesome. I was trying to find a 3D printed handle. I went on Etsy and I was able to find a 3D printed version. I wish I had a 3D printer, hint, hint, Zach. It's a lot more accurate than I can make carving out of aluminum and they're pretty cheap. You can get them around $20. My first mistake was I got this one here. And unfortunately, this one, the one that I got, is it's the one from Star Wars The Clone Wars. It's not the Darksaber from the actual Mandalorian. Duh, Joe. So I went out and I found another one. One good thing about this, the internals were all able to be slid in and out. So that's where I went with the second Darksaber handle. So on with the project, you think. Start cutting the plexiglass for the blade, start working with the LEDs, and here's where the trouble starts. The LEDs only have about 36 lights in the string that I was using. Now, if you go to professional saber builders, which that is a thing, they are using a thing called NeoPixels. NeoPixels have 144 LEDs per string, but this one only had about 30. So when you use it, the lights you can completely see dot 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 they look terrible so had to go back to the drawing board now if you've been waiting for a video you've been waiting a while this dark saber is probably one of the most intensive things i've ever had to build anyways guys on to part two of the build where i actually get something done the next step on our agenda is going to be opening these up after i taped them all together and we are going to actually carve out the center of three of these strips of plexiglass. We went out and we bought ourselves some NeoPixels. So we're gonna carve out the center of these strips. We have a hollow core inside our light and that should give us enough room that we can then go on and uh, put our NeoPixels in. I don't know if you could see that, guys, but look at that, those LED diodes. Those things are like wicked close. Probably want it about there. I think that's about as safe as, as far as we're gonna get, guys. Get these glued together, and we are going to get rolling. So I know it looks like a modern art sculpture, but this actually did work pretty good from what I can tell. So we're gonna start pulling the clamps off here. Looks like this was a success. So, the blade, which will be the inners, is all sanded and finished. It is a little warped. So, we are going to cut out our inside, which you can see here, we have it all marked out. And then when we glue that to one of our outsides, we are gonna make sure that we are gluing it down to the table, which is flat. So hopefully all that twist and all that turn will be pushed out of it. Oh my gosh, you are, you are covered in stuff. I'll brush you off. It's a big old kitty. Good kitty. <gasps> yes. Ah!
So I am here with my crazy cat. It is time for our next step, which is going to be cutting the LEDs and soldering two of them together on either side. Now you might ask me this, why don't you fold the LEDs over so that it just goes along the back side? Well, the reason for that is if we think about a lightsaber, the light grows up the LED blade. Essentially, if you did that, it would grow up the LED blade and go back down the LED blade. We don't want that. So they're gonna be wired together at the beginning of the blade so they both turn on at the same time. Our next step is for us to take these two LED strips and we are going to lay them together. There we go. Now they are one LED strip with on both sides. We are basically going to crisscross these wires. A little bit of a conundrum I ran into is I've got an LED strip here, I've got a blade gluing up over there, but how was I actually going to power this? If I just plug this into a battery, it's just gonna turn on, won't make any noise, won't do anything. Now in the future, I plan on doing a full lightsaber blade, like a full, this is pretty much from scratch, but the internals are not. For this build though, I decided to go with a company that's already making them. We're gonna have to do a little bit of retrofitting, but I got this. This is made for a lightsaber that has like a hollow tube filled with like, I don't know if it's like styrofoam or what they do, but they, uh, it's not for LEDs like what we're doing. Yup, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got here. Well, I'll tell you. buying cheap Chinese lightsaber parts, the wires so thin, might as well have been tinfoil. And that board, oh, <laughs> that board, well, I gotta tell you folks, they're not able to be wired to NeoPixels. Who would have known? Me, if I had done any research. Good morning, guys, we are back. It's actually been about two weeks. In the video, it's been three seconds, but in, the, in reality, it's been like a week and a half since I've worked on this thing. My brother came down for Easter, we had a lot of fun and I didn't have this, which is the lightsaber control board. Now the big issue with this is that these lightsabers need a specific board if you're gonna run NeoPixels. And uh, if you don't have a special board, like this one from the custom lightsaber shop, it's not gonna run. Time for the big boy from the custom saber shop. Well, that's cool. I made a J. This is the Golden Harvest lightsaber control unit. These are supposedly are pretty good. I've looked up a lot of stuff on them. A lot of what I looked up was what's, a, what's the cheapest control board. Okay guys, so the way this works is that there is a micro SD card that you upload all of your sounds, presets, everything you want this to do should be on here. So what I gotta do is I gotta look up a pin diagram on where every wire is going and then from there, we're gonna throw this into our jaws and start soldering leads onto it. I am gonna take this apart so that I can get to the terminals for the actual uh, battery casing in here. And I'm gonna solder the battery terminals right to here, leaving them hanging, and then go right to the board. process guys but we have got our plug soldered onto the end of our LEDs we have got our control board all soldered up with extra length of wire for the other side of that plug the female end the thing that's next is for us to roll the spinny wheel of what we're doing next and that's going to tell us if we are a going to do a reveal of the lights, or B, we're gonna do some boring computer stuff. So let's spin the wheel. Wow, wow, look at it go. Wow, guys, that's a lot of fun. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, come on, That's man. what we're doing next, guys. And hopefully it's not too complicated, but I'll be there with you the whole time. Give me a systems display. I'm a little nervous about this, but we're going to turn it on and see what happens. Three, two, one. Well, I'm going to hold it. And nothing. 
Test number 237.58, I guess. Ah, I got it! Oh my goodness! Oh, I got it! I was not having fun until now, guys. I was hating my life, but I gotta say, oh, this, this makes it all worth it. I got a lightsaber blade, and it does this. Swing? You hear the swing? Ah! It's so cool! This is the coolest thing ever! I hate- I was literally gonna throw this out a window. I got it though. I got it. So guys, we're starting our build now. I've got this out of here. As you can see, this blade actually worked out really, really good. Uh, it dried and by doing those clamps on a flat surface, it straightened it right out. Bigger thing though, is trying to get all this to line up inside the handle. We're going to take this piece, which is our slide here, and we're going to notch it. Everything from our battery to our speaker will be in this thing. What I'm gonna do is this is gonna be our charging port here, uh, mainly because I can't uh, not put the charging port there. I can't put the button there, it's not close enough. I had the idea while I still have it to leave the bottom on until I absolutely don't need it anymore. It's me, I'm back from Harbor Freight. I figured out the solution, guys. So, this whole time, I've been trying to figure out how we can put this in so we have the handle and the blade are separate, just so that we can attach them all. How I'm gonna do that is these. These are for speakers. They're a little teeny, teeny, tiny clip. I'm actually cutting the sheathing off. So basically what I'll do is when I'm all ready, when I'm all done, I will clip them all together, heat shrink them, and then if I ever need to pull it apart, I just gotta cut the heat shrink off. So it's not a big deal. Our next step is going to be to cut the rest of these off, attach them to the blade. Oh yeah. Put our metal stripping inside the blade so that it can't shine through the sides. And then we are going to glue the blade up set that to the side, wait for it to dry, and then the blade's done. Okay guys, so this piece is in here real nice. Uh, the whole unit slides out perfectly. I couldn't have asked for it better. So I've got enough leads on here that I should be able to connect it. Essentially, when we're done, this whole piece here will be attached right to the guard, which will be attached to the blade, and then this will all be one unit that will slide in and this essentially will just be a cover. That's our next step is to lay our LED strip into the blade and we'll end up with just these coming out of the end, dangling out of the end. Okay guys, the time has come to put the other side on there. I've got the lights in here. Uh, I did a little test, they look pretty good. That does look really good, guys. Uh, so we are going to put the aluminum tape on the other side of the handle, sand this up so it will stick, and then we'll glue it up. Uh, we're gonna let this sit overnight in our clamping system, which is just a bunch of screws and mending plates, but that's what we're doing next. And then next time you'll see me, I will have a fully glued blade. Okay, guys, I got it all mocked up to show you. Oh my goodness, this was a lot of work. Check that out. This thing fits on here like flawlessly. We got the wires coming out of the end. This piece gets connected to the internal rail. So when we're done, it will basically be these connected to the internal rail will all be one piece. I'm gonna fill this with epoxy so it's on there. Check that out though, it's all sand and fogged. So, you know, the light will be diffused going through it. It's got the aluminum tape, so we're not gonna see a blinding row of LED lights right in the middle. It's only gonna glow out the sides. And then on top of that, we are ready to paint the blade Fanta Black. Did I say painting? I meant sanding. So uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to put some glazing putty on it. And I'm gonna do this all on a time lapse. If you guys wanna watch someone uh, show how to smooth out 3D printed, there's a million other videos that are more interesting than this. And then from there, I'm gonna get out our metallic paints and then I'm gonna start going for it. I'm just gonna start going for it, guys. Okay, so we've got that all covered. It looks like mud, unfortunately. Our next step is for me to lay out some painter's tape on our blade. That way we can peel it off once the Fanta Black, I'm sorry. Black 3.0 is on there. Black 3.0.
the world's blackest black. We're gonna get going on this and then, yeah, we get to paint it. I've actually got these little spray systems. I've never used one of these before, but I'm better with a spray can than I am with a brush. So we're gonna put some tape, kind of make a cool little design up the blade, and then we're gonna spray it. We're gonna sand this, and we're gonna slap it all together and we're done. So that's the idea that I'm gonna go for here. Guys, it is the next afternoon. I don't know that intro doesn't make any sense, but everything is dry. Take a look. Man, I do not know if that is the blackest paint in the world, but it's pretty darn dark. We're gonna peel the tape off and we're gonna put this together. And once that's done, the only thing that's left is doing detail finish work. There we go, that's in there. Check this out. It's all glued up and I managed to get the handle on there. I'm not gonna turn it on because we still have some detail work and after that we'll do the big reveal. I've looked up pictures of the Darksaber and what it is is it's satin black with a uh, light gray on all of these lines. The other thing is, is there's no scratches on it, like at all. So I wanna go through and kind of add some of the, like the really bright silver in some certain areas that I would say would probably have wear and tear, like maybe a few little scratches here. It's not super accurate to the show, but I wanna do it for myself. As a prop, I think it will look better. Right into the dirt. That wasn't meant to happen. I know what I'm doing. I'm vengeance. <laughs> Just imagine you're being attacked by the Mandalorian. Oh no. I think the speaker broke. <laughs> no!
Well, guys, that's the end of the video. Me and Mando, we're going to have some bonding time out here by the fire pit. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Not really. Uh, not the biggest fan of wiring, but hey, you know what? I think it came out really good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and, and drop a like. Also, if you don't, I'll send my friend Mando over here to get you. We are not friends. Okay, okay. Harsh, but true. You should do it anyways. It's nice. It's nice to me. It helps let me know that you uh, appreciate all the hard work I've been doing. Yeah, you know, Mando, that's real funny. What, you gonna kill me now? You gonna kill me, Mando? Really? Yeah, okay. The big bad Mandalorian gonna kill the, the, the Vermont man, the, the American man. Well, you know what I think you hate, Mando? Mondo, whatever your name is. I think you hate America, because I'm free. You gotta be up there in your spaceship handling little green goblin up there, okay? Yeah, no, I said it. I said it, okay? Yeah, no, you're very, you're very scary, okay? Very scary. Till next time, guys. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. You guys like Star Wars? This is the way. It's what? the way. This is the way. This is already been done. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Had to do it to him. Oh my gosh.